Hello, Susan for SLC Aquatics. Here you are enjoying my 55 gallon with Bosami, Rainbow Fish, and Roseline Sharks. Here are my Mutt Guppies. Pretty soon it will go into slow motion. And here I want to explain to you how genetics play a part in fish, especially guppies. The original breeds here were blue-green Moscow's and half-moon mosaics. A half-moon mosaic male got into the blue-green Moscow. So the blue-green Moscow had half of a black body with a veil tail or delta tail that was green and um, the heads of the blue-green Moscow's were somewhat dark and some of them had some metallic heads. Of course the strain of the half moon mosaics comes with snakeskin patterns, cobra patterns, tiger pattern bars which are uh, vertical on the body on the peduncle just before the caudal fin and the pattern in the caudal fin was lacy with red and black and sometimes yellows in it they did have metallic heads and they are known to be flat headed and sometimes um, some coloration in their um, ventral fins. So last summer they mixed by accident and I got these beautiful right here this yellow tiger mosaic. The body was long on the male. He was almost three inches long. His uh, body is very thick not fat but muscular and so I intended to breed this and try to keep that trait within the strain. Each generation got shorter but still muscular. I have heard and read that in order to get the long bodies you have to have the genetics and you have to do frequent water changes and feed live foods. Well, I haven't done frequent water changes, neither have I fed live foods. I feed flake foods, I feed uh, freeze-dried shrimp, uh, brine shrimp, sometimes I feed freeze-dried uh, blood worms. So I'm in the negative. But as far as these females go, the females that are being produced have a shark tail, dorsal, I mean um, caudal fin, and they have a lot of blue in their body, in their fins. Their dorsal fin and their caudal fins are usually match, and they have large bodies. Those are large females. So they're very prolific. I have several drops of fry in this aquarium. I've been getting different colors like mint green. Uh, this here <laughs> is the black hair algae that grew on my sponge filter. I cleaned it off. Here's the American greens that are IFGA culls from Stephen Quartner, I do believe. and. Um, they are not very prolific. Matter of fact, they're beautiful, but they are a weak strain. They're very sensitive to water chemistry, and you must keep their water clear and clean, and they need to be well fed. And when you feed them, you know you're going to have to keep changing that water. So um, I added some crushed coral to their water to raise the KH but next I'm going to experiment with buffering with some baking soda in the water to raise and um, 
buffer the pH to keep it going. It seems like recently our water has been 7 and below, like 6, between 6 and 6.8, and sometimes our pH will reach 7.0. But these are very beautiful fish. I hope to get them going and really reproducing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions about breeding guppies or even making your own strains, keep it simple. Look at the traits that you want. Make sure the male and the female both carry that trait to duplicate that trait and when your strains start reproducing themselves on I would say 95% reproducing themselves I would say that your strain has been established just keep calling out those that you do not want in the strain and best wishes and enjoy your hobby <music>